Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I actually want to welcome you back to, I know I did a, a previous video like this, um, you know, where I just talked about random, you know, different topics involving wrestling. And I think that, you know, I know I said that I was hopefully going to do more and I, you know what, I think I'm going to start doing more. Maybe once a week I'll come on here and just do a, a random, you know, topic regarding uh, wrestling. So, and first of all, I want to apologize to people that were looking forward to the Crow retrospective. Um, I'm actually not going to do that now because, you know, um, I screwed up because I thought the movie came out on May 13th and it actually came out May 11th um, and I screwed that up. And to be honest, folks, I mean, I already reviewed the movie twice, so any information that I would have put in that retrospective would have just been a repeat of the previous reviews and you know it, it basically you know it, it would have been a waste of time to do um so I, i'm sorry for those that were looking forward to that i'm just i just i just don't want to do it anymore i'm sorry i just i don't feel there's a need to do another review of the crow i mean i already reviewed it twice i think i pretty much summed up my feelings in both of those reviews so you know i'm sorry but Hey, it is what it is. But anyway, like today, you know, I, you know, with wrestling, like I said, you know, growing up, you know, I grew up, I was born in 92, you know, so I grew up in the era of the new generation and the attitude era, you know, is what I remember watching and, you know, the ruthless aggression era as well, if you want to try to break things down a bit. And, you know, I, there was a time when I got out of wrestling um, I pretty much sold every DVD and video of wrestling that I had. And I'm actually, you know, like I've been saying, the past, probably about the past um, year, maybe almost a year, I've been, I've been really just buying the crap out of wrestling stuff, you know, because I'm trying to build back up my collection, um, which I think I've done, I think I've extensively done uh, since then. And, you know, I, I've always loved it. I've always loved the, the the concept of wrestling. And the concept, you know, and Vince McMahon said this in an interview. You know, he said, you know, what we really do is we make films. And he's right. He's right. You know, they really, oops, they really just, that's what they do. They make a movie. That's really what it is. Yes, it's a, you know, it is a sport. You know, there's, it's definitely athletic. It's an athletic competition, you know. Um, but yeah, they really just make a movie, you know, because, you know, it's the story of good versus evil, you know, and, you know, the titles on the line, you know, it, it's exciting. And I think that's what draws people to it. Now, the topic of this video, I just wanted to say that, but, because um, I've been thinking that, but the topic of this video is the entire CM Punk thing, you know, thing. And also, I will touch on wrestling fans in general. Now, before I get into what I have to say about the uh, the CM Punk thing or the CM Punk situation or whatever people want to call it, um, I will I will admit you know I like CM Punk I'm a fan I liked when he first came in and he was part of the uh, the new breed in the Vince McMahon version of ECW I like that I like CM Punk you know he was the ECW champion you know he wrestled like Guys like Chavo Guerrero and Johnny Nitro. Um, I know him and Chris Benoit tag team in one of Chris Benoit's final matches. Um, so I, I am a fan of CM Punk. And I like when he came up to, I think, Raw. He came up first and he won the Intercontinental title. And he was feuding with uh, William Regal. I remember that. And then I know he went over, I think he went over to SmackDown for a little bit. Uh, no, I don't think it was that long, but... At that point, I wasn't really watching wrestling, but I was following it. Um, and I know he won the World Heavyweight title a couple times. Like, I know him and uh, Jeff Hardy feuded. They had a, I know they had a cage match, and I think they had a ladder match. And um, I know then he came back to Raw, and he won the WWE Championship, and he was champion for like a year. Which is, I mean, they don't really do that kind of stuff anymore, which, you know, is pretty cool. Because, like, who was the last guy besides John Cena to hold the title for a year? A Diesel? You know, I think Diesel was the was the last guy to hold the title for a year. Before that was who? It was Macho Man, I think. You know. So, yeah, I mean, you know, they don't do that kind of thing anymore. So, I thought that was cool, you know. It was an interesting concept. Um, you know, I know he went out on Raw and he did that whole um, 
shoot interview. And for those that don't know the wrestling terminology, shoot is basically when it's when you when you go off the plan. Now, I don't want to say script because you know they does it. Do you really come on? You know, I know they say well in the script. Do you really think when guys show up when they show up to Monday Night Raw, here's the script, read the script for tonight? No, they don't. They don't have scripts. I mean, come on. You know, they get told what they have to do and what they have to say. You know, but there's no script. I mean, come on, guys. You really think that they get actual scripts? Come on now. But, you know, yeah, shoot is basically when you just go off the off the cuff, you know, off the, off the idea, whatever. You know, so I know CM Punk came out, like, it was the day before his contract expired or in storyline, you know, whatever. And he came out and sat on the the runway and said, you know, well, I can go to Ring of Honor and I can go to Japan and Hulk Hogan this and Hulk Hogan that. You know, and I know a lot of people were pissed off about that, but, you know, they said, hey, go out there, you know, say what you feel like, but, you know, remember, don't don't go too crazy. And he's like, okay. So, you know. But, yeah, I mean, and then I know he lost the title and to The Rock. Him and The Rock were feuding for a little bit. And then he wrestled Undertaker last year at WrestleMania. And then, you know, he quit. You know, he quit, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, he actually quit. It wasn't like, you know, a storyline thing where he went and got surgery or something. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, CM Punk legitimately quit the company. Now, I know this is the part where people are going to get all pissed off and probably leave nasty, illiterate messages and comments and shit like that. But you know what? I'm tired of being nice. You know, I'm tired of trying to trying to reason with people that are assholes. I'm tired of it, you know. So, this is my video. If you don't like it, turn the fucking thing off. Okay? I'm not I'm tired of saying, "Well, this is my opinion and and that." I'm tired of saying that because people don't understand the fucking concept, no matter how hard you try to drill it through their heads. So, I'm tired of being like that. But CM Punk Quit the company, okay? I know, I think it was Comic-Con last year or something. You know, he basically, and I think you can find the video here on YouTube. He basically said that he was not happy with the company and this and that. You know, so at Roy after Royal Rumble late this past year, you know, Batista came back and won the Royal Rumble. And the next day at Raw, CM Punk met with Vince McMahon and he said, okay... You know, I'm not happy. What are we going to do about this? Vince McMahon said, you know, well, this is the plan. This is what we have to do. This is what we're sticking to. And CM Punk said, okay, I'm done. I'm going home. And he went home. That's it. And that's that was it. He walked out of the company. Which, to be honest with you folks, I don't agree with. I know what you, some of you are thinking, well, how can you say that? How can you like the fact that Batista came back and won the Rumble? Okay, first of all, Batista, you know, Batista's biggest mistake was leaving WWE the first time. Because he was red hot at that time. Alright, you know, he tried to go be an MMA fighter. He's trying to do movies and stuff, whatever. You know, and then he comes back. Okay, Batista's what? 45, 46 years old. Okay, he's old. He's lazy, he's washed up, he's out of shape. You know, and now he's apparently he's leaving again. From what I've been hearing and reading, he's gonna leave again. So whatever. You know, and it's not it's not any secret that Batista can be a real dickwad because him and Booker T had a fight and everybody was happy that Booker T kicked his ass. So and and that's the truth. Booker T beat him up. Cause they got in a fight because Booker T was tired of his shit. So it's not a secret that, you know, Batista can be a dickwad. Now, in the ring, I like Batista. I like the character of Batista, but, I, you know, the guy so far I don't like because, you know, he's going on Twitter, he's telling kids that he's going to break them in half and all this shit. Fuck that. What the fuck is wrong with you, Batista? Again, dickwad. So I know, again, people are going to say, well, you're just mad because Batista came back. No, I'm not mad. Okay, if the guy wanted to come back, that's fine. But you know what? The truth is, he's old, he's lazy. So he shouldn't have won the Royal Rumble. The only reason why he did is because he came back after four years and Vince McMahon sucked his dick. Oh, we'll put you in the main event again. You're going to win the title. And that's, that's what happened, people. 
You can't tell me anything else happened because that is what happened. Because they did the same shit to fucking Brock Lesnar when he came back. Because Brock Lesnar does not give a fuck about wrestling. Okay? It's the truth. Brock Lesnar is only in it for the money. That's why he signed with WWE in the first place back in 2001 or 2002, whenever it was. Because he just won the heavyweight um, NCAA championship in collegiate wrestling. And the only reason why they signed him is because he is a he's a freak. The size, he, you know, he's a big, big dude, you know, legitimate athlete, and that's what Vince McMahon likes. So Vince McMahon offered him a shit ton of money to go. And the only reason why he went is because MMA was not as big as it was back then. So there you go. And he didn't give a fuck about anything, and he hurt people and all this shit. You know, and then he left to go play football, and he wasn't successful with that. Then he went and tried to be an MMA fighter, and, you know, that's that's a load of bullshit, in my opinion. Because how do you have, you have two fights, you lose one, you win one, and then you win the world title. You win the heavyweight title. Come on. Yeah. And then he got sick, and he changed his attitude and all this, apparently. Then he came back, and then he got sick again. And then he came back, and then he retired, and then he went back to WWE. And he only wrestles two or three times a year. So anyway, I know I'm going off topic, but CM Punk was not, that was not the right way to do business. I'm sorry, folks. And I know what people are going to say. Well, you're wrong. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. People, and then and this is, a, you know, later I'm going to get into that, but fucking wrestling fans take their shit too seriously. Okay. God almighty. But CM Punk, I'm sorry, was not that was not the right thing to do. Because when you're, you know, a top guy like he is, not the the top guy, but when you're a top guy like he is, okay, people pay money. They're hard earned money selling drugs or working or whatever. I don't know what people do, and I don't give a fuck what people do. As long as I'm not doing anything illegal, I'm alright. But People pay their money to come see you. People pay their money to buy your action figures and your DVD and your t-shirts and everything. Okay, so when you decide because things aren't going the way you like to take your ball and go home, you are fucking the audience out of what they pay their money to see. Yeah. If you want to leave the company, fine, but do it the right way. Like Batista did. You know, Batista was unhappy, so he, you know, granted, he got a release. He wanted to get released. And plus, he was hurt. I think he got hurt a couple years ago when he when he left. So, you know, if you want to leave, fine, great. But do it the right way. Don't fuck the audience over. Which is, I don't understand, you know, I know that, you know, 9 out of 10 people support Punk and support his decision. Okay, but I don't understand why that is. Oh, yeah, we agree with Punk. He, he did the right thing. So, you agree with the guy that you pay your money to see just leaving the company. So, if you bought tickets to go to Monday Night Raw to go see the guy that you want to see and he's not there, um, does that make sense or no? It doesn't make sense. So, why are you supporting what he's doing? Why are you supporting him Walking away from the company. That doesn't make any sense. So there you go. I, I, that's what I don't get. I don't get why people support him. You know, Stone Cold Steve Austin did the same thing back in 2000. Was it 2002? 2003? You know? they. You know, WWE wanted um, Stone Cold to lose the Brock Lesnar. And in a very shitty way. And Stone Cold said, fuck that and fuck you, I'm going home. And if you don't believe that's what he said, then number one, you're probably an idiot because if you're a wrestling fan, you know how Stone Cold is. He's pretty much the same guy he is in real life, you know. And number two, if you don't believe me, go listen to his podcast because he said that on his podcast. He didn't want to do the job. 
you know, job, you know, again, in, in, in wrestling, the word job means you got it, you lose to somebody. You put somebody over. He didn't want to do the job. He didn't want to put Brock Lesnar over. He said, fuck this and fuck you, I'm going home. And that's what he did. 2002 it was because, yeah, because then they brought him back for WrestleMania 19. So I was right the first time. So 2002, yeah, right after, um, I think SummerSlam 2002. Somewhere in there. Yeah, because after WrestleMania 18, he was still, yeah, he was still wrestling. And stuff. That's right, yep, yeah, I'm right. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin did the same thing. But... Did you hear people say, oh, yeah, we support Stone Cold. Stone Cold told Vince McMahon to go fuck himself and left. We we absolutely support his decision. No, people were pissed. WWE, or pro that's probably when they changed the Yeah, that's probably when they changed the name. WWE was pissed. They stopped selling his merchandise. They stopped promoting him. And they chewed Stone Cold out. They said, Stone Cold... Fucked over the audience, the people that pay to, pay to see him. So there you go. So how come they're not saying this about CM Punk? How come they didn't pull CM Punk's... Well, they probably did by now. But how come they're not saying this about CM Punk? They, yeah, because on that um, the Ultimate Warrior documentary that the WWE Network did, which is here on YouTube, so don't watch it on the network. Um, they, they showed a poster, I think it was Royal Rumble 2013, last year's Royal Rumble, and CM Punk was on the poster and they put a sticky note to cover him up because they were, you know, they were filming and they knew somebody was going to say something. So how come WWE isn't saying, you know what, fuck him, he walked out on us, he quit us, you know, he's fucking the audience out of money, fuck that guy. And if people don't believe me, because when Stone Cold left, they had The Rock go out and say, Austin took his ball and went home like a little kid. That's what The Rock said. And it's not because The Rock wanted to say it. It's because WWE told him to say it. So there you go. But I don't understand why, you know, again, you know, Stone Cold did the same thing. And people were pissed. CM Punk does it and people are happy. That doesn't make fucking sense. Because I know that apparently the plan for WrestleMania, one of the plans was to have CM Punk wrestle The Undertaker in a rematch. And CM Punk was apparently going to beat The Undertaker and break the streak. I'm sorry, folks. I don't believe that for a minute. Again, I know what some of you are thinking. Oh, damn, CM Punk, the best wrestler. Shut up. Shut up. I can't see CM Punk breaking the streak. I'm sorry. They should have Shawn Michaels do it because Shawn Michaels, in terms of skill and in terms of charisma and in terms of legacy, is pretty much equal, if not more, than The Undertaker. So I don't see, I can't believe CM Punk breaking the streak. Sorry, people, that's just me. Sorry, I feel differently. But whatever. Then the other plan was to have Shawn Michaels come out of retirement and face CM Punk. Because at the Slammy Awards last year, CM Punk got super kicked by Shawn Michaels. But I guess that wasn't good enough for CM Punk to wrestle Shawn Michaels. But whatever. I know what some of you are saying. Well, at Survivor Series 2006, when CM Punk was on... The DX team, everybody chanted CM Punk, and he's so over. Who fucking cares? I'm Again, I like the guy, don't get me wrong, but, you know, he's not the only fucking wrestler in the company. That's what people are treating him like. They treat him like, you know, he is the only guy there. And, okay, I know what some of you are saying. Well, we're tired of John Cena. Okay, yeah, I'm tired of seeing John Cena all the time too. But John Cena is the face of WWE. He is the top guy in the company. And he's going to be there for a few more years at least. Okay, people? That's just how it is. Cena makes the most money. I'm sure he sells probably the most merchandise. 
You can't, you cannot deny, I don't, I don't give a shit if you like the guy or hate the guy, but you cannot deny that John Cena is the top guy in the company. Can't, you cannot deny it. It is the truth. No matter how much you want to sit there on your little keyboard and bitch and complain, and then you want to jerk off in frustration, John Cena is the face of WWE, and he is the top guy in the company, and he's probably the top draw in the company. I hate to tell you people that, but it's the truth. Batista is not the top guy in the company. Randy Orton is not the top guy in the company. Hell, Daniel Bryan is the world heavyweight champion, and he's probably not the top guy in the company. Sorry, folks. Sorry you can't have your cake and eat it too. That's not how it fucking works. But again, you know, I grew up, again, I grew up in a different era. You know, I know I'm young. I know I'm in my 20s. But, you know, I remember watching WCW. The NWO, Goldberg, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, watching WWF, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, The Rock, Stone Cold, Undertaker, Mankind, okay, Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, okay, I like all those guys more than CM Punk, number one, because I grew up with those guys, and number two, a lot of those guys are better than CM Punk, sorry folks, sorry I said that. You can't tell me that Bret Hart is not better than CM Punk. You can't, okay, I know people are going to get pissed off at this, but Chris Benoit, sorry, I like more than CM Punk. I know what some of you are saying, well, you condone murder and all that. No, I don't. And the only reason why I say that is because we will never know what happened to Chris Benoit. How do we know for a fact that he killed his family and then himself? We don't know because nobody was there. So stop going on speculation. It's never been proven. Which makes me think it's even more of a fucking conspiracy. And it probably is. But you know what? I'm tired. You know, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of hearing about CM Punk. CM Punk this. CM Punk that. Punk, Punk, Punk. Best in the world. Longest reigning champion in the modern era. I don't give a fuck. I know people were pissed off. Oh, well, The Rock didn't put Punk over. The Rock beat Punk for the belt. Yeah, because The Rock makes, or sorry, yeah, The Rock makes more money for the company than CM Punk. You know how many Raw tapings they sold out when The Rock came back and was champion? Every one of them. Did CM Punk do that? Probably not. Did The Rock even appear on every single Raw when he was champion? No. But all those Raw tapings sold out. And they haven't done that since The Rock was champion back in you know, 2000 and 2001 and 99. That era. So... The Rock, I'm sorry, is a bigger draw than CM Punk. Shawn Michaels is a bigger draw than CM Punk. Sorry, folks. I hate to be the one to tell you, but CM Punk is not the best in the world. Okay, I, you know, I know people nowadays hate Hulk Hogan with the passion, and I'll do a video on Hulk Hogan because I love the guy to death. But you know what? Hulk Hogan is a bigger draw than CM Punk. And you know what? When Hulk Hogan was wrestling, yeah, it was a different time. Hulk Hogan used to wrestle seven days a week. Twice on Saturday, twice on Sunday. Did CM Punk do that? No. I don't think so. Again, okay, I, I am a punk fan. I like punk. But what he did was wrong. You don't fuck your audience. Ultimate Warrior did the same thing in 96. He stopped showing up. Because he was pissed that WWF was selling his merchandise. And he wasn't getting enough money from it. I know what some of you are saying. No, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. Watch the interviews. Watch the videos. He will say it in there.
And again, what gets me is people are supporting CM Punk. Hijack Raw. Okay, Hijack Raw, all these guys, and people are getting all these signs, and, you know, we're going to take over Raw. We're going to hijack Raw. We're going to do this. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense. If you want to hijack Raw, if you want to take over Raw, don't fucking watch the show. Don't buy tickets to go to the show. I, you know, I don't, you know, people just think they have this sense of entitlement and think that they can do whatever they want. You cannot. Now, I don't agree with WWE throwing people out because of they're wearing punk t-shirts and chanting, we want punk, okay? That's bullshit. WWE, it, it, that's a fucking joke. I'm sorry. That's a fucking joke. But, hijack Raw. We're gonna hijack Raw. We're gonna take over Raw. What the fuck, people? Are you fucking retarded? How come when Hulk Hogan went to WCW, nobody tried to take over Monday Night Raw or Superstars or Wrestling Challenge or House Shows? How come when Macho Man went to WCW, nobody tried to take over Raw or House Shows or Superstars or Wrestling Challenge? How come when Stone Cold Steve Austin did the same fucking thing CM Punk did, how come nobody tried to boycott Raw and hijack Raw and hijack SmackDown and all this? How come when Shawn Michaels destroyed his back, nobody said, Oh, fuck him. We're not going to the shows because he's not there anymore. He got hurt. He's a, he's a pussy. How come when Bret Hart got screwed over, nobody tried to hijack Raw? Now, people made signs... And people chanted, we want Brett, and you screwed Brett. But did they get kicked out? No. Because WWF embraced it. How come when Owen Hart died in a tragic accident, nobody said, you know what? Maybe wrestling has gone too far. Maybe we should stop going to the shows and stop watching the program. No. No one did that because they like to get caught up in all the drama and all the bullshit. And that's essentially what people are doing now because people fucking thrive on it. They're on the goddamn cell phone and they're on Twitter and Facebook and all these websites. Oh my God, Punk is in here. We got a hijack raw. Whatever. And guess what? He'll fucking come back. He will be back, people, and then you'll all be fucking happy. Oh my god, he got our letters, he heard us, he this, he that, oh my god, he's back. The Messiah has returned, this and that. Oh, shut up. Yeah, how come when The Rock went to Hollywood to make more fucking money, nobody said, oh, fuck WWE, The Rock left. No one did that. So why all of a sudden CM Punk? Why? What is so special? What is so different about fucking CM Punk that they have to try to take over a show and all this shit? Get the fuck out of here. You know, and, and... You know, I think I'm about done with that. But wrestling fans... You know, okay... Okay, fans are fans. Okay, you know, I... I you know, I, I've been to... A lot of different events. Okay, I've been to baseball games. You know, I've been to, you know, wrestle. I've been to a wrestling event, a few wrestling events. You know, I've been to independent shows. I've been to WWE one time. You know, I've I've been to, to concerts. I've been to you know, um, what uh, what else have I been to? Uh, shit, I've gone to conventions. Okay, fans are fans. Okay, you have. Your, you know, your typical fan, which collects the merchandise, you know, likes to go to the shows and meet people, and is fucking respectful. 
Then you have the fucking nut jobs that know every single little fact about the people who stalk them, who go on their Facebook page and leave messages and comments and all this shit. You know, and then they just go fucking crazy and they make signs and they're always, you know, complaining about when something goes wrong with that person and they it's fucking creepy, people. Okay, when I go to these shows, when I go to these conventions, I'm respectful. I walk up, how you doing, Mr. So-and-so? Shake their hand, ask them a few questions. Thank you for what you've done for the movies or the business. Appreciate it. You know, it was an honor to meet you. Have a nice day. That's it. That, it's so fucking simple, people. Not, oh my god, you are my favorite. You were in this movie and that movie and I love you and I watched that movie 700 times. Oh my god. Oh, I love you. Sign this. They're normal fucking people, folks. They don't want to deal with that shit. Okay? You know, baseball games, concerts, wrestling matches. Okay, if you want to go and yell and scream, fine. But make sure it's when it's appropriate. Don't be a fucking dickwad and do it when you're just to be obnoxious. When I went to SmackDown, it was SmackDown at ECW a couple years ago, TV taping. Okay, yeah, me and my brother were yelling and screaming, having a good time when it was appropriate. But then we had all these fucking retards near us that were just being obnoxious. Okay, yeah, I understand that you pay money to go to these shows, but you don't have to be a fucking dickwad. That's the word of the day, dickwad. <laughs> Whatever. You know, and again, you know, the, the internet wrestling community. You know, these guys and girls go on all these websites and here on YouTube and these forums and everything... And they think that they are the only people in the world. And they think that they run the fucking companies. And it's a joke. I'm sorry, people, but we're fans. We are not important, okay? We think we're important, but we're not. I know what people say, well, the wrestling fans are important because they decide this and they decide... No, we don't. Vince McMahon decides who's going to be a good guy. Vince McMahon decides who's going to be champion. What match is going to happen? Okay, we don't control shit. We pay money so they can keep going. Okay? That's how it works. I'm sorry, folks, but that's how it works. Again, I hate to be the one to burst your bubble and, you know, put a little dose of reality in your cup of bullshit... But that's how it works, people. Sorry. But the fans, you know, again, if you want to yell and scream and stuff, fine. But don't be a dickwad. You know, and another thing, you know, you got all these people jumping in the ring and jumping backstage. What the fuck? Why would you even pay to go to the show if you're going to get kicked out? You don't interfere. You wouldn't just run on a movie set in the middle of a shot, would you? No. So why would you jump in the wrestling ring during a match? So I don't, you know, I don't understand wrestling fans. I'm sorry. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love wrestling. I've always loved wrestling. You know, again, there was a time period where I didn't care. You know, I wasn't into it. But I've always loved wrestling, and I respect the hell out of these men and women that go in there every night and they put their bodies and their lives in danger every single night to put on a good show. Because accidents do happen. Not, okay, you can get hurt. No, you will get hurt. Eventually you will get hurt doing the shit they do. Okay? I have nothing but respect for wrestlers past, present, and deceased. Okay? People don't realize how hard their lives are. They're on the road... 300 days a year. They don't get to see their families. They don't get to sleep in their own bed. They're eating at, you know, IHOP and Waffle House every night. It's hard for them, and people don't realize that. And that's and that's what pisses me off, because a lot of these fans will go on these forums and these websites and shit and cuss out a wrestler and piss off, you know, and write shitty things about wrestlers. But they don't understand, and they don't appreciate... What they do every fucking day for us, the fans. 
okay? The wrestlers don't piss me off. The fucking fans do, because again, you know, and I've found this mainly, you know, mainly with wrestling fans, you know, and movie fans and stuff too, but I don't know. They have this fucking sense of entitlement where they think they're right all the time and they think they know everything, and, you know, then they have a fucking attitude. It's not necessary, folks. You know, people wonder why I have a quote-unquote antisocial attitude. I do this, I do that. Because I'm tired of the constant everyday bullshit. I'm one of those guys, you leave me alone, we'll get along fine. But when you pester me and annoy the fuck out of me, I'm not going to like you. Sorry. And I know that people are going to comment and dislike the video and all this shit. But whatever. Okay? This, this is not an opinion. This is the fucking truth. Wrestling fans take their shit too seriously. And I know the punk thing has died off a little bit because everybody's worried about The Undertaker. Oh my god, the streak is broken. Oh, why did they break the streak and this and that? And, you know, you got guys going on these podcasts making fun of the fans because they were crying and they were emotional. Well, sorry that the wrestlers are doing their job to create a story. That's what they're doing, people. It's a story. Sorry that people get upset because their favorite, you know, The Undertaker lost. Okay? Okay, yeah, it's sad that the streak is over. He went 20 years, you know, 21 years, 21 and, or 20, yeah, 20 and 0 or 21 and 0, whatever it is. Okay? You know, Undertaker's what, 49 years old? You know, the way that he wrestles, you know, he wrestles very aggressive, very, very hard, very heavy. Okay, your body cannot take that kind of abuse. And Undertaker's getting, I'm sorry, but he's getting up there in age. Maybe it's time for him to retire. I don't know. But, you know, nobody gives a shit about the fact that he had a concussion after the match. They just give a shit. Oh my god, the fucking streak is over. Fuck WWE. Fuck Brock Lesnar. Ugh. I didn't get my way. Ugh. Sorry it doesn't work out that way, folks. Sorry Undertaker got hurt in the middle of the match and they had to do their best to try and help him live. Again, you know, like with Owen Hart. Why didn't people stand up and say, you know what, wrestling has gone too far? No, they continued to watch the shows. They continued to support the decisions that they made. Because look what happened after Owen Hart. The, all the hardcore shit started. And okay, I like hardcore wrestling when it's when it's appropriate. But, you know, when you're busting jars of, you know, candy and shit over people's heads every night and busting them open every night, okay, it's a bit much. That's why e one of the reasons why ECW failed. Because it was too violent. I will admit that. That was one of the problems. It was too violent. You can't be doing that every night. That's how guys get hurt. But... Nobody wants to hear that. But see, you know, I think I think the fans take their shit too serious, okay? Yeah, I understand it's wrestling, okay? It's an athletic thing. It's a competition, okay? As much as people want to deny that, it's the fucking truth. I understand that you go out there and you get your adrenaline pumping and your adrenaline going. That's great, okay? That's awesome. But to hold a grudge because a wrestler lost is fucking ridiculous, if he loses, he loses. And you know, another thing, people are still pissed off about the Montreal screw job. That was almost 20 years ago. Bret Hart, okay, Bret, I love you, but you need to stop mentioning it. Okay, I put it behind me, but I'll never forget it. That doesn't make sense, Bret. If it was behind you, you wouldn't talk about it anymore. I understand it was very, very disappointing and heartbreaking for that to happen to Bret Hart, okay? I, I completely understand that, but him and Vince McMahon buried the hatchet. Him and Shawn Michaels buried the hatchet, okay? Let's move on. Let's talk about the good times. So, whatever. But, I think I've gone on far too long now. But yeah, I mean, wrestling fans just need to lighten the fuck up. And the whole CM Punk thing, I don't support what he did. He walked out he didn't do the right thing, and I don't understand how the fans can support him by doing that. Because when Stone Cold did it, everybody was pissed, you know. And I don't understand why all these people are trying to 
you know, hijack Raw and take over Raw and all this shit to get their voice heard. But whatever, I, I don't understand it, you know. And this is why I don't have faith in the world because of shit like this. But it is what it is, folks. And I just want to thank you for watching and the second edition of Random Wrestling Topics. Like I said, maybe once a week I'll, I'll do a video. You know, like this. Maybe every Friday or something. Today's, today's Friday. Maybe every Friday I'll do a random wrestling topic video. Because I did write down a lot of different ideas. A lot of topics I can talk about. So who knows. Maybe, yeah, maybe I will once a week just come on here and you know talk wrestling. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, again, I know people are going to get pissed off. But whatever. I'm done fucking apologizing. If you don't like it, tough shit. That's all I got to say. So anyway, take care. Bye-bye.